Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jimmy. I'm with Tropicana Golf. Over the past few weeks, we've put out some really good videos, some tutorials of playing golf more efficiently and better, not necessarily for score, but to improve your consistency and to make sure that you play golf the way it's supposed to be played, not hitting hero shots, just playing and playing and playing to make sure that your overall score and your overall enjoyment is at a next level. So we've received a lot of comments of like, we'd like you to bring somebody in. We'd like for you to play with somebody and see how they react, see how they play. And I found this guy, he was at the driving range today. I said, what are you doing today? I'd like for you to, you know, come and play a couple holes with me. He agreed. Uh, this is my buddy that I just met today. Your name was what? Hi, my name is Manny. Manny. This is Manny. Hi, everybody. And uh, you're going to see two different mindsets today. The way that I play, the way that he plays. But I think it's very important because we watch golf on TV and you just watch them play. Sometimes, once in a while, you get to hear a little feedback between the player and the caddy. And that's important. So now we're going to put you inside our mind so that you can see every shot, how to hit it, what we're thinking from the takeaway through impact, the, the condition of the grass, everything. We want you to see how we see it. And I think that's very important to play better golf. So, Mr. Manolo, Manny, right? Manny, Manny Manolito, Manolito, Manolo, whatever. What, the, what, what do you want me to do? I would like for you to go first. Okay. And I'd like for you to walk through your process uh -huh. of starting a hole. This hole, for example, is a par five dog leg left. It's a very long hole. There's out of bounds on the right and the left. Wow. So, we need to make sure that what? We get the ball in play. For sure. You don't want to hit something that is going to get out of bounds because nope. that is the terrible way to start yeah so we need to say okay it's a par five i have a few extra shots mm. how do i make sure that i get the ball in play and go forward so that i'm in play for my second shot and move forward so let's take it with away that, yeah you're doing a tutorial what better way to do a tutorial than with two people tutorial that's a tutorial two people okay so like i said it's a par five okay. 545 <laughs> yards all right so, they're doing some type of maintenance here, so we don't have tee boxes, but whatever, it's no matter. Here's what I see on every shot in golf for me, I think it's like bowling, and I just don't, no gutter balls. Like, keep it in play, keep it in play. So for this, it just looks like the dog leg is there, driver looks like it's gonna be too much, so I took a five wood, and that's just gonna be something I can hit smooth and keep in play, and I don't have to be crazy because I'm just safer if I'm in play, right? Yeah, that's it. So let's do it. Okay. Right here looks good. Okay, fantastic. Now what I will do, oh, National Geographic, look at this. All right, I'm gonna aim just dead center down this fairway. It's gonna give me the option to have a ball that goes right or a ball that goes left. It's just the best thought process for me. Then what I do is I line it up down the middle this is my intermediate target right there. That's my tarche. So all I'm trying to do is get something to go over that. I just want to hit a ball nice and smooth over that because if I take the depths of this game and bring them closer to me, it's easier. Let's check it out. Yeah, that feels fantastic. I waggle that shit. And then I just put a good move on the back of the golfing ball and that's it. Perfect. Okay, you're happy with that? That's what you wanted to do? Okay, I watch the golf ball. I make sure that I watch where the golf ball absolutely stops moving. So you know where to go. You gotta know, because sometimes I see a lot of people will smack that shit and then like walk start away. talking and like walk away or they're dejected. Like, oh. Right. And then like they don't even know where to go look for their ball. So I understand that. that's important for me. So I saw where it was and I'm in play. And that was number one, keep it in play. And also, here's really important. I did not swing out of my shoes. Exactly. I'm starting the round. I'm not warm at all. That was right. like my first kind of swing of the day type of thing. So when that happens, you're out the car, you're fresh. I just, where's my go-to ritmo swing that I can keep a ball in play for like four or five holes. I'm very calm for the first few holes. Keep it under control. Exactly. And I like to do the same thing. It's a par five. 
It's a long par five. Now I could take driver and roast it and hope to God that I hit a good shot. And if I don't, now I'm hitting three off the box. My score's ruined, my day's ruined, it's a disaster. So let's keep the ball moving a little bit at a time. I'm taking a three iron. And all I wanna do is turn back and wave to the camera. Hey, Greg. Hey, man. How are you? We're just gonna go through you, is that okay? Yeah, do mm. your thing. Don't be nasty. <laughs> okay, so I want to make sure that I hit the ball straight-ish. Okay, I'm not gonna hit great, perfect shots every time. I have to just aim to where the biggest chance is. And obviously on the right-hand side, I have more grass. So I wanna hit it on the right-hand side. I don't wanna cut, I mean, put anything left where I'm in trouble. So how do I do that? I aim to the middle of the fairway. I just turn back with this right hand. I wave to the camera. I hold it here. I take a quick little lateral movement towards the target and I sweep the ground. Back, forward, hmm. and sweep. Okay. That's it. Let's see it. That's all I want to do. It's perfect. Ball's low. It's in the middle of the fairway. A little left. But guess what? It's in play. I can hit it again. No problem. So step one is done. We got it out there. We yeah, you... You Hit looked like you lined yourself up to be where, you know, if in case right. golf happens, exactly, then you're safe. I have, I'm safe, exactly. And if you, if you try to hit a hero shot right away, then hey, hero might fall. And now what? Now you're hitting your th third shot off the tee, you're trying to make seven. Yeah, no. And it's a disaster. So. A, a par is a good score and a bogey is a good score. If you're shooting 98, 100, play for bogey and, and you'll be okay. You know, like it's just about keeping it on the golf course. Yeah, golf, golf is a game of keep it in play. Yeah. If you just keep a golfing ball in play and don't take penalties, don't hit it in the water, don't hit it out of bounds, if you can find a way to keep the ball in play, I can promise you that's going to. Eight shots, just a standard eight shots just falls off your score from tonterias. Right. I hear you. This is you. That's mine, and you're right there in the fairway. Right? Okay, so let's see. We have a long way, like a long, long way. Am I going to get it there? No. My ball is here. So what are the odds of me threading it through this tree super hard and getting it to the green? Probably zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take less club, like a six iron, and I'm going to punch it over here. I'm going to stay away from these trees. I'm going to punch it 155 yards, maybe 160 yards, and give myself a chance to get on in three. Now, most people take a three wood and try to rifle it through these trees. Let me make sure that you can see these trees here. You sure can. This is all day for people. They'll take a three wood, hit it as hard as they can, and try to get it through these trees. You're gonna fail. But what you won't fail is hitting a little punch shot like this, hand back, hit the back of the ball, just like this, 150, 160 yards, onto the grass, okay? So I get to the back of the ball, I move the ball back in my stance, my right hand does this, boom, compresses it, and that's it, just keep it on the grass. Perfect, it's up along the right side, and now I have a shot at the green in three. And even if I don't get on in three, it's okay, I can still make par, and par is a great score. All right, let's go to you, sir. Par is a great score. Par is a great score. Why don't I grab the chariot? Okay. Okay, you're dead center. You're still did you notice, 200. Did you notice where I moved the car to? Where'd to the, the visible car? spot. A oh. player doesn't like to know what's could be behind. You know, if everything's in front of you, standing, the golf cart, it's a good etiquette 
to have everything in front of you, right over here. Behind you, 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 you kind of freak out, so okay. know that. All right, so what do we got here? Walk okay. through. Here's what I see. I see a very narrow opening. Okay. I see trees, out of bounds left, out of bounds right, a narrow opening. Now, here's the thing. Maybe late in the round, once I'm warmed up and I feel like I know how my golf ball is coming off my club face a little better, in the beginning, I don't quite know. So all I'm going to do is give myself an opportunity to hit an iron shot, to put it to 100 yards. That gives me an opportunity to hit a wedge shot. So I like to warm up shots in the beginning of a round. I won't attack yet. There's no need to attack yet. I let the round come to me. So this looks like, I don't know, I could just hit a six iron out there. That's gonna put me right around 100 yards, which allows me to hit a wedge. So now I know what the wedge game is. So that's my psychologics. So why don't I hit a six iron? Should keep me be before what looks like when the trees kind of come in. Okay. It's a white flag, middle, middle pin. White means middle. So. so you have 270 yards and you're trying to get to 100 yards. Yeah, so maybe 175 yard six iron. Of like, I'm talking super smooth. Like right now, I'm not doing nothing. Right. Can I hit it 190? Yeah, but maybe on the back nine. Right. I didn't hit any golf balls. This is like we're just straight up out the car golfing, which so many people do. You just get out and you go, you know? Right. Okay, so a six iron, 100 and... 65 170 yards yeah which is very doable most people can hit that for sure this is not a crazy shot where you're oh i can't hit that most people can hit a six iron 160 170 yards yeah. wide open so right here here's what's important here's what i see i've just taken a few kind of here's how i feel the club coming to the grass back here okay great but when it is time to rock and roll hall of fame what i do from this moment from this moment is kind of to the tenth of a second so example is once I've figured out what I want to do, I will spin the club in my however, and then I'm on like this, this whole little situation that I do right here to get into all this, to get into right here, to pulling the trigger. That's all that doesn't change. It's not like I'm doing this five times, three times, seven times. It's always the same. That's a really important thing to figure out. So let's try and hit a good shot. And put the ball in play. Okay. You missed to the open side of the field? Fine. No problem. Yeah, that's... Just, okay, the ball cut a lot more. I didn't quite release my right hand, but hey, we're just starting the game of golf. So I now know, okay, you can release your hand more, get the ball more straight. But it still was great contact. It was good contact, and you didn't miss anywhere that, that could, could hurt, hurt me. you. Yeah. Nope. You kept it forward, you kept it playing, you kept it moving, and we're good. Now we both have our third shot into the green to a par five where now we can play, you know? You can hit one up there without the fear of like, oh my God, I'm already hitting my seventh shot. Yeah. Like, it's okay. You keep the momentum going, you keep everything in front of you, you don't put I'm yourself right in stupid positions to exactly. where you have to hit crazy shots that hero shots. you don't practice, yeah. that you, you don't, you can't do. You don't know how to do them. So after all that, after a bad-ish tee shot, I'm 150 yards, there's the marker, there's my ball. I have 150 yards to a middle pin. I'm going to kind of ease up on a eight iron and just put it somewhere on the green. So it's 150 to the pin. That means it's 140 to the front edge. And really, if I'm on the front edge, I'm fine. So I line myself up and do the same thing. The ball's back in my stance. My right hand goes back like this, lateral bump and sweep. Looks something like this. And that's about as hard as I'm going to swing. I think anybody can do that. It's going to catch a piece. It caught a piece of the green. So now, no matter what, I have a birdie putt. If I two putt, I make a par. If I make that, hey, I made a birdie. But that was pretty easy. I haven't stressed out about any shot yet. And I think a lot of people stress out about shots. They're like, oh my God. 
I got to mm-hmm. do this. And that wasn't a great shot by any means, but the ball's going forward, mm-hmm. kind of going towards the target area, which is the green. And I still have a chance. You're giving yourself chances to play. You are putting. Right. That's what I see. That's exactly Hitting right. greens is not just, oh, oh, oh. No, it's not an easy thing to do. You have to do it. So when you do, you take advantage. Right. All right. Short of grabbing my range finder, I see that that's the 100 yard marker and that's the 150 yard marker. And I think I did enough geometry in my seventh grade to where this looks like 120, 125. Okay. There's a little bit of wind into me, so I'll add five. So that's 130. Now, here's what I like to know. I could easily hit my pitching wedge. I hit my pitching wedge that, but because I am still in the beginning of my round, I want to groove my swing. So I'm going to take just a little baby nine iron. The wind is enough. I'm going to take my little baby nine iron and I'm going to see if I can just put a good move, make great contact and let the club do the work. That's what I think in the beginning of a round for sure. So, all right, the flag's off to the right. I see a bunker over here to the right. I see that anything over here is going to be a tough up and down. So I'm going to err on the side of having more green to work with. I'm going to err over here. I want the golfing ball. If it flags it and hits the stick and goes in. Okay, great. But I want to be left of the flag no matter what. That's my thought. Okay, let's try it. Hold my finish. Wow. Okay. That ball cut a little more. So far, I'm cutting the golf ball, but because I aimed correctly, the ball didn't cut too much, flew right over the flag stick and landed in a spot. I believe that that ball couldn't go any further right than that, which is okay and ended up being a really great shot. So fantastic. Aimed a little left, let it do its thing. No harm, no foul. The wide part of the green is on the left, as you can see. So you aim to the wide part. I aim to the wide part. So far, the golf ball has been a little bit leaking to the right. So I, pl- I keep that in mind also, knowing that the ball has a tendency. So I might even move a touch more left, not too much, but just enough to where I'm giving myself all of the ability to be in the correct spot. Got it. And notice, I hit a nine iron. Notice that I made good contact and the golf ball didn't go crazy. I'm not trying to murder a pitching wedge. I see a lot of people try to, 130, that's my pitching wedge. Right. Well, that, that's, I'm, uh, this isn't WWF, you know, like just, you can smooth. It's like darts. Just get it moving forward. Yeah. At a medium pace. Just darts. Okay, so there's yours there, which is a very makeable birdie, but mine's not makeable by any means. I don't even try to make this. All I want to do is make sure that I don't have too long of a second putt. So right away I know just by standing here on the line that everything's moving this way because my body's moving this way. So I need to just let it, the ball fall the same way my body's falling. So I have a long way. I don't know how to hit a 46 foot putt. I don't practice those. But I do know that if I get to here and I say I'm gonna throw a ball over there, I can just do this and feel it. I can feel what I would take to roll a ball to the hole. And it looks something like this. Okay, so I know that's the pace I'm gonna need. So I just do it again. I aim a little left and just roll the ball with my hand to the hole. It's below the hole, not a great putt, but I have a chance at par. And I think the whole thing is to get away from doubles and triples. For sure. So you go ahead and study yours. I already studied mine. Okay. And here's what I did. While you were studying yours, I didn't watch you study. Okay. You don't watch the person next to you study. You study your own ritmo. So I studied my own putt. I know that it's downhill moving from right to left. Your ball broke a lot. So that's going to help me know that this is going to break more than I initially thought. So. I watched you. I didn't study you. I'm already ready to go. So I'm out here. I know that that's probably where I want to aim the golfing ball. That's my intermediate target. 
So since it's there, I'm just going to roll the ball over this spot with whatever my hands and body feel is the right pace. It's very, very simple. I know it's a quick butt that moves right to left, roll it over the spot, and hey, see if it goes in. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. Hey, it's a tap in five. That's it. Some go in, some don't. That was a good read. That was a good putt. I should have, you know, nothing. I did it right. Good five. Keep Fives it moving. Are good. Yeah. Fives are good. What do you want to do? And this is basically for people that are shooting 110, 115, and they can't figure out why they're doing it. Well, you got to just play a little bit smarter and just limit your damage. This is an uphill putt. I can tell because my weight's on my heels. It's going to break this way for sure. It's uphill. I just got to smooth it. So I feel the same thing. I'm rolling the ball to the hole. I get my head behind the ball. I keep my head down and just roll it. If it goes in, awesome. Muy bien. Easy five. So listen, that was 20 minutes of pure gold right there. And if you're shooting 110, 105, 98, you just need to stop making mistakes that cost you the big numbers. For sure. So play like this, learn from this. We're gonna do more holes mm -hmm. one by one so we can really break it down and not get you all in your head. But little by little, you're gonna play a lot better. You're gonna understand the game yeah. in general instead of I need to hit this ball as far as I can mm -hmm. every single time. That's not golf. Think smarter, not harder. The more you do that, the better off you'll be because that's the game of golf. And that's it. Got it.